In the dead of night, as they drift into slumber, they enter my domain. A place where the line between reality and nightmare blurs. I've taken their dreams and twisted them into mazes of torment. A relentless parade of horrors that follow them even when they awake. I'm the embodiment of their darkest fears, the monster lurking in the shadows of their minds. I revel in their terror, their screams, and their feeble attempts to escape. The more they fear me, the more power I gain, and the more inescapable their nightmare becomes. Elm Street's children can't hide from me. I'm a malevolent specter that defies reason and logic, and I'll be there, waiting for them every time they dare to close their eyes. Their dreams are my playground, their fears, my sustenance. In the end, there's no escaping me, for I am the eternal, unrelenting nightmare that haunts Elm Street. Amanda Kruger was an unsuspecting nurse in the hellish confines of the Weston Hills Psychiatric Hospital. She was kind, caring, and dedicated to soothing the tormented souls that lurked within those cursed walls. Her compassion knew no bounds, and she dreamt of bringing solace to those whose minds had been shattered. Little did she know that her dreams would soon become her worst nightmares. One dreadful night, fate locked her within the most demented ward of the asylum, a place where humanity had been utterly devoured by insanity. There, in that den of madness, she found herself at the mercy of the vilest and most deranged souls one could imagine. It was in the midst of this unholy torment that she was defiled and impregnated by one of the most deranged lunatics to ever breathe. The birth of yours truly was no ordinary event. I was conceived in madness, born in that abhorrent place where nightmares ceaselessly writhed in the shadows. My mother brought me into the world amidst the anguished cries of the damned, a child of darkness born into a world of unspeakable horror. The circumstances of my birth imprinted upon me an indelible stain, a sinister mark that would shape my very essence and mold me into the malevolent force I am today. The sins of my conception and the torment I endured within those accursed walls forged me into the monster who now stalks your dreams, ready to exact my revenge. My childhood, a tale as twisted as the darkest of dreams. I was born into a world where torment was my cradle and nightmares my lullaby. The torment of my birth echoed through my early years, for I was a constant reminder of the horror my mother endured. But the darkness in me was not only inherited from my mother, it was also nurtured by the sadistic nature that I developed as a child. I took pleasure in tormenting small animals and reveled in the pain and fear I could inflict upon them. My sadistic tendencies grew alongside my knowledge of my own nightmares, a sinister combination that set me on the path to becoming a true monster. My abusive foster father only fueled the darkness within me. He was a cruel, heartless man who took delight in punishing me for any perceived wrongdoing. The scars he left on my body were a physical manifestation of the scars that had long marred my soul. His cruelty only deepened my thirst for vengeance and I began to realize that the power to inflict pain and fear upon others was a potent weapon. As I grew older, I learned to embrace the nightmares that haunted my sleep, and I discovered the power they held. It was then that I realized I could become the embodiment of their terror, 
exacting revenge on a world that had forsaken me. My tormented childhood, tainted by my own sadistic urges and the abuse of my foster father, was the crucible that forged me into the vengeful specter you know today. Each day was a reminder of the pain and darkness that consumed me, and each night I ventured deeper into the abyss of my own making until I became the monster that now haunts your dreams. I was a groundskeeper at a local school, and to the outside world I seemed like a regular guy. But behind closed doors, in the darkest recesses of my mind, something sinister lurked. I had a fascination with the macabre, a darkness that consumed me. It started innocently enough, with some twisted curiosities. But it didn't take long for my obsessions to spiral out of control. A man with a chilling secret. He was no ordinary man. Instead, he was a predator, preying upon the innocence of the town's children. His sinister deeds were concealed beneath the facade of a seemingly benign life. But beneath that mask was a malevolence that would soon be laid bare. One fateful day, the townspeople could no longer ignore the darkness that festered within their seemingly ordinary neighbor. The revelations of Fred Krueger's malevolent deeds came crashing down upon them, inciting a collective rage and fear that would seal his fate. With torches in hand and vengeance in their hearts, they descended upon the derelict boiler room that had become the setting for so many of his unspeakable acts. In the bowels of that forsaken place, the vigilante mob cornered the malevolent Kruger, determined to exact their own twisted justice. The air grew thick with tension as they set the room ablaze, flames dancing with malevolent glee, consuming the man within. Fred Krueger, the child murderer, had met his fiery end, or so they believed. As the flames devoured my flesh and my screams filled the air, the three dream demons recognized the perfect opportunity. They saw in my suffering and my descent into madness the potential to become their eternal dream realm incarnation. My depravity, my pain, and the darkness of my soul were like a siren's call to them. In the midst of that fiery nightmare, I made my pact with the dream demons. They granted me the power to transcend the bounds of mortality, to become a nightmare given flesh, an eternal tormentor of dreams. The torment I experienced that day only fueled my desire to unleash the horrors that lurked in my mind. And so, in the flames of their own making, the townspeople of Springwood unwittingly forged me into the demonic force I am today. Bound to the dream realm, I would haunt their children's dreams, turning their darkest nightmares into chilling, eternal realities. Their act of vengeance sealed my fate as the Springwood Slasher. An entity that would forever haunt the dreams of those who dared to close their eyes. 